Hello and welcome back to my channel. So if you're anything like me, you're in the middle of a dollhouse project at the wallpapering stage and you want to have your own custom wallpaper sized down to the scale that you're working from, whether it be 1 12th, 1 8th, 1 16th, whatever you're working on and you want a particular kind of wallpaper. For me, it was William Morris and I managed to make my own just using very simple techniques and software called Canva and I'm going to show you how I did that and created this kind of wallpaper at the appropriate size for my house. So let's get into how I did that. So first things first is you want to go and find a wallpaper design that you really love and you need to really get a good high quality image which has enough of a repeat pattern on it. I used wallpaperdirect.com for this and as you can see they have tons of William Morris examples, any wallpaper you could desire it's here, any style, any aesthetic, any colour, whatever you want. So you want to click on show full pattern and download that image. It will download as a web page, that's okay. Um, you want to then go into that file once you've downloaded it and find the uh, image that is in the folder. Then you want to drag that into your downloads, get it out of that messy folder because that's the only image you want and just you will have that image. Now this image is a really good quality image and you want to open up Canva and place that into a page. Once you have it placed in the page, it will fill the page like this. You want to make sure it doesn't do that. You want to just shrink the size of the image so it's not filling the page more like this. Then you want, I will normally, this is when we are going to tile and make a repeating pattern. So you want to shrink it and pop it up into the corner so it locks up into the corner and press copy on the image. Now what we're going to do is just overlap them. So you can press it to the back position or in the front position, whatever is easiest for you to match up the image and just move it over until the image aligns with itself and you have a full repeating pattern. Then once you have done that twice, you want to hold shift and press the other image at the same time and group those two pictures together. And then copy those two grouped images again, paste it, and then repeat that same process a multitude of times until you have a larger image that has enough repeat on it, maybe four, five, six times, uh, whatever is appropriate. So you want to continue doing this, shrink it, copy, group, and keep going until you have a one giant grouped image. And as you can see here, it uh, starts to look very much smaller and like you have a ton of repeats in the pattern. That's all what you want and you want it so that you can shrink it down essentially to the size that you need. Um, as you can see when you zoom in, it's su still super high quality. So as long as you're base source image is good quality, this will work for you. Um, I'm sure there are probably Photoshop softwares and other things that can do this um, probably immediately for you, um, but I don't have those, so this is how I do it in Canva. I continued this process with a bunch of other patterns from the same website and just shrink it down until you get it. Now, um, you want to download this as a PNG or a PDF, depending on how you want to print it. I did it as a PDF print. And now, you may be wondering whether or not the sizing that you have done is going to be accurate for your house and whether it's going to be small enough. Now, what I did is I zoomed up the image until it matched an A4 piece of paper and then traced some of the dominant shapes in the pattern onto that paper from the computer. Then I took that piece of paper and translated it to the house that I'm working on. 
and if the pattern looks to be about right in scale you should have it bang on and you're ready to go and print. So that's what I did with that particular image, I think I sized down another little bit as well so I just printed them out. Now these are the examples that uh, I printed from uh, what I had just done with multiple different wallpaper designs. Here's the Strawberry Thief one that came out really well, super clear. Um, obviously colours and quality is going to depend on your printer and print settings and paper etc and what you what style of paper you print on as well for and from then on I just cut out my pieces of paper uh, wallpaper and stuck them onto the house with just PVA glue super easy and really effective and I think a much cheaper way of doing this especially if you have your own printer you can choose anything you could probably do this technique with rugs um, as well or any kind of textured pattern um, any wallpaper you could think of you could have essentially with this I know the um, ready-made dollhouse wallpapers might be a little bit limited in uh, shops and uh, supplies for that type of thing so this is a really good way of getting exactly what you want and exactly what kind of uh, style that you want for your house so this one fitted the theme of my house which is old Victorian um, thatch cottage so that was really handy and it's something I really like so yeah so that's how that worked out for me and I hope that was helpful for you too if you're in the same position so there you have it that's the tutorial for how to make your own dollhouse wallpaper at home really easy using free software and free images. If you don't want to go through all that trouble and want a larger variety of wallpapers um, really quickly I have created a downloadable PDF that's available in my Etsy shop for purchase right now. It includes 20 William Morris wallpapers, all of his famous designs in a variety of different colours, so perfect for any dollhouse project or scrapbooking or journaling whatever you would like to use this miniature uh, wallpaper for it's there ready to go straight away so if you would like that just visit my shop and check it out also if you purchase the pdf and use the designs in your own miniature makes please tag me on instagram at tasmanbassett.art i would love to see and check out what you're doing and share your projects on my page too. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.